Hello, Cartrick Dude One, and um, basically, I'm here to show you a really cool trick called the Australian Shuffle, and it works every time. It's a math trick, and um, it's pretty amazing. So you can do this over the phone. Make sure the person on the receiving end has a deck of cards, and could, they could be on another planet as long as they have a deck of cards and they have a table. They can do this on. So um, you're gonna say to them. If not, you can just go in the other room or do something like that. You're going to take the deck. You're going to allow them to shuffle it to do whatever they want. They can poop on it and throw it into a sea. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Just take the deck, and you're going to cut it into, uh, you're going to ask them to cut it into about four piles, four piles that are more or less equal. So they can sort of line it up and move a couple of cards around. Try to make them equal. They don't have to be exact, but just make them... There we go. It's fine. So now you're going to say to pick one of the piles. Let's say they pick this one. It really doesn't matter. They're going to do this on the phone. You're going to collect the other ones, and you're not going to need them for this trick, so you can put them away. And you're going to say, now the Australian Shuffle, if you do this, you can do it to your friends. It always works, and they actually could. And so you're going to take it, and you're going to ask them to just shuffle it a lot and mix it around and just do whatever they want with it. It's quite hard to shuffle one fourth of a deck. It ends up shuffling seven cards against six cards. Anyway, so you, they've mixed it up and they're gonna pick one card out of it or just take the top card. So let's say they pick the Ace of Spades. Ooh, that's weird. It's also good because it's an easy card to remember. Ace of Spades is the card that they picked and all you're going to have to do is um, you're going to say, all right, now this is the Australian Shuffle, so let's spell out Australian uh, Shuffle. And so what you're going to do is you're going to move a card to the bottom for every letter. So it'll look something like this. Um, a, U, uh, oh, sorry, how do you spell that? All right, Ace of Spades on, is on top. You're going to spell A-U-S-T-R-A. You know, I'm doing this all wrong. Sorry. What you have to do is you have to go 1 A U S T R A L I A N S H U F F L E. Australian Shuffle, there's no need to put a card to the bottom for the space. They can check that the Ace of Spades is not on bottom or on top, because it isn't. And they can look and they can see it somewhere in the, in the mix of it. And now you're going to say, so now what we're going to do is Australia is, has a nickname that is called the country Down and Under, right? Or Under and Down, Down and Under, I think. So we're going to do that until there's only one card left. What I mean by this is go like this. Down and under, down and under. So you're going to put one card down, one card under, and just keep on doing this until there's one card left. And that one remaining card will always be the card that they chose. And it always works. Try it on your friends, and it's a really great trick, and I really love it. And you can really, if you have, you know, your parents on a honeymoon or something, and I don't know, why would your parents be on a honeymoon? Because unless you're just born, I guess, or it'd still be a pretty hard situation to conceive, but whatever. Um, so basically, that's it, and. Yeah, try it on your friends. It's called the Australian Shuffle. It always works. They could do it, the people who are watching it. And don't ask me why it works. I'll just give you one bit of it. Is that when you cut the piles into four pieces, there can't, there, um, there can't be eight more or less cards in one pile. It has to be within that limit, I think. But it should, you should probably just make sure and make it just a little better. I don't know. Just try to make it as equal as possible. So try this trick out a lot because you never know when you're going to slip up. It's a pr 
Map tricks like these are pretty easy to switch up on. And that was Cartridge Dude 1. I'll see you next time. And bye.